In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to assign a pair assessment through Canvas. First thing you want to do is navigate to any of your Canvas courses. And then you're going to get to pair assessment using this blue left hand side navigation menu. You should see pair assessment there, but if you don't, you'll need to go to settings, navigation, and then make sure pair assessment is pulled up to this top portion so that it's visible. Don't forget to scroll down and click Save. Once you see pair assessment in your navigation menu, go ahead and click it. And this will take you to your pair dashboard. You should see tiles for all your classes. And if you don't, then you likely need to still sync your pair with Canvas. So once you're here, you're going to go to this left hand side menu and click test. Depending on your settings, you might have a lot of filters that automatically are applied. Anytime you go to one of these test or item libraries, I highly recommend you click clear all to clear your filters so that you can start a fresh search for your assessment. You'll see filters like entire library that's going to take you to all the possible assessments within pair created by me. So those are ones that you actually made shared with me. Maybe someone in your PLC shared the assessment with you. You're an author on a PLC. So maybe you are on a assessment. So maybe you collaborated on it with other people in your PLC, or you also could have ones that you favorited. If you're an author or it's been shared with you or you created it, I highly recommend just going to one of those filters and finding your assessment. If it has not been shared with you directly, um, but maybe you are using it as part of a GVC course and you have an ID number, you're gonna wanna locate that ID number and then use this top search bar. Paste your ID number in Make sure you're an entire library and then hit enter. That's going to help you locate an assessment that's been saved in our Duneland district library, but maybe hasn't been shared with you directly. If you can't locate an ID number, you can always ask a member of your PLC to share the assessment with you, and then it'll show up in the shared with me filter. Once you found your assessment, if you hover over it, you can see you have a few different options. I'm going to show you how to assign it. So go ahead and click quick assign. Then it's going to take you to your assignment settings. You want to make sure you select the uh, classes that you want to take this assessment. So make sure you when you click here, all of your different sections of your course should pop up make sure you click all of the ones that need to take this assessment. Then you want to also select your open and close dates. Uh, pair will automatically filter it to uh, a certain whatever is close. You want to make sure that you tell pair exactly when you want it to open and close. You can still customize this further in Canvas for different classes but you want to make sure you give pair some kind of guidance. So let's set an open date. Let's say I want it to open for the next maroon day. I want it to open in the morning. So I'm going to just select time and date. Uh, I'm just going to do 810 because that's when the school day starts. AM, click OK. And then my close date is going to be after my gold day, which is Thursday. We'll do 3.10 p.m. Okay. Again, you can customize that further within Canvas. This is just giving a pair assessment a general window of when to make the assessment available. It's going to give you this success screen. This tells you that it has created this assignment in Canvas for you. So now what you're going to do is navigate back to your Canvas course. 
and you want to double check and make sure the assessment made it over. So click Assignments. And then I'm just going to search for the CFA. I know this one's for Topic 2. So I search for it, and it does come up. So it did make it into my Canvas. Um, from here, you can decide if you want to unpublish it. Uh, that's fine. I mean, students won't be able to access it until the day you've told it anyway. But now I can make sure I customize my quiz. When you click it, you'll see this gray bu button that says to load it in a new window. That's what your students are going to click when they take the assessment. For you to edit your settings, go to this gray button on the top right that says Edit Assignment Settings. Click that. From here, uh, you can give your students some custom directions if you want. You're going to want to update your assignment group. Um, maybe, you know, depending on if this is something your PLC is giving for a grade or not, you can decide to not count this assignment towards the final grade. You can go ahead and limit your attempts if you need to. If you plan on syncing it to Skyward, you can also click that. That all just depends on what kind of settings you're going to give for this assessment. Then you might also want to manage your due dates. So maybe you just want this to open all at once for everybody. That's great. That will be all set for you. But maybe you want to do custom open and close dates for your blocks. That's just what you do for any assignment. It's not going to change what you've already set in pair. So let's say I know I need to give this to my first block. And I want to make sure it opens at 810. That's first thing. That looks great but I need it to be due at the end of that block. So I'm going to update that setting for August 28th for uh, 9.38 a.m. And then you can always set your until dates. Uh, you can always add more of your sections and do your custom due date and available from dates, however you need to do it. Once you're done, don't forget to click Apply, and then Save. So once you have your settings the way you want them, you need to make sure you add your assessment to your module so your students can find it. So go to your modules, find your module for your class for that day, click this plus sign up at the top right, and you're going to find it in your list of assignments. So make sure from the drop down you've selected assignment. Go ahead and find the correct assignment. So I have my topic 2 CFA. I'm going to click the blue add item button and then it's there. Again, you can always go back in and update your uh, due dates or your open dates, anything like that. Um, you just want to make sure that you have found it in Canvas, you've updated any of your settings and added it to your module. Uh, don't forget to publish your module. When you're ready, make sure your CFA is published and you should be good to go with assigning your quiz.